So let's move on to some bonus content, Chris. Uh, there's only... Bonus. I, yeah, I was kind of debating whether to do two different ones this week, but I feel like we've got kind of enough for one big one this week. And uh, okay. I, I remember sending this to you, Chris, and, and also I can't quite find the article for the other one that... Uh, I was thinking of, and I feel like it would like crash my computer and the recording as we're doing it, because it, it seems to be using a lot of my CPU up. But regardless, that's not important right now. We can always talk about that next week, because it was a it was a topic that's kind of been running through for a lot of the time, you know. So, um, but I sent this article to Chris, which says Lightning prospect booted from World Junior Championship camp for quote serious violation of sport and human values. And I sent this and a following article to Chris, and Chris was like, Oh, okay. So I figured, you know what, let's have a little uh, chat about it, you know. Um, so obviously we talked about the World Junior Championships towards the end of the actual episode. Let's go into detail about this specific player now. A prospect selected in the third round of the 2019 NHL entry draft by Tampa Bay has been booted out of Slovakia's World Junior Championship camp. In a release, the team stated 19-year-old Maxim Shakovic, I'm going to say Shakovic, it might not be 100% correct, participated in actions that were, quote, a gross violation of sports and human values. And uh, this is a quote from um, the team, I would imagine. The entire implementation team unanimously decided that Maxim Shakovic's behavior did not correspond to the value set by coaches and players, including him, the team said in a statement. The implementation team agreed that it would not tolerate such behavior of players. Therefore, Kozovic is excluded from the preparation for the World Championships. Now, according to a Slovak journalist... Um, who is uh, Matej Duraj. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm going to be awful at these. Um, Sokovic leveled teammates with some dirty hits during practice. He delivered a few dirty hits in the preparation game on other members of the Slovak national team. They were split into two teams and playing like inter-squad uh, games. Um, there's no footage um, of the hits as the game was not being broadcast or streamed. And uh, Sokovic said in a statement from the team, I'm sorry for what happened. I realised that my behaviour was not appropriate and I bear the consequences. I respect the decision of the implementation team. He's, um, for context, uh, Sokovic has spent the last two years in the QMJHL with the St. John Sea Dogs. And he's been playing with the Bratislava Capitals in Slovakia this season. Um, so that was the first article. Now the second article... Um, which I found, which came out a few days ago, a day or two ago, serious injury to teammate led to the Tampa Bay prospect being ejected from the World Junior Camp. Details are starting to slowly leak out regarding the circumstances that led to Tampa Bay Lightning draft pick Maxim Shakovic being kicked out of Slovakia's World Junior Hockey Championship camp bubble. God, try saying that three times quickly. According to several reports, <laughs> one of Shakovic's former teammates, Samuel Kradged, I hope, has also left the bubble and won't be playing in the World Junior Championship tournament because he has concussion symptoms, or he has a concussion, that was caused by a dirty hit from Sokovic. Um, according to Slovakian journalist Thomas Prokop um, about Maxim Sokovic, the guy didn't have many fans before, but there are more players like him. So a uh, Slovak Hockey Federation doesn't want to publish video of the situation that got him out of camp, and Sokovic refuses to talk about it. According to a release from the Slovak Hockey Association, on Friday evening, after the first uh, preparatory duo among the representatives, Kradic uh, has headed to the hospital. He cannot return to the bubble due to injury and strict measures, which means that he lost the opportunity to fight for participation in the World Junior Championships in Canada. There are also rumblings that there was another hit on a potential teammate after the one to Kradic that was just as bad or worse, but he did not cause any serious injury. There are several comments on social media regarding his attitude when he played with the St. John Sea Dogs of the QMJHL. That's all hearsay. I'm not going to take that for... Um, uh, any uh, argument because you know that's not fair um, you've got a you know innocent until proven guilty kind of thing go and read them for yourself and make your own mind up I'm not going to regurgitate hearsay and kind of a, opinions here and there um, so Team Slovak announced Friday that he'd been booted from the camp and he apologised for what had happened and etc etc so basically the TLDR a Tampa Bay Lightning prospect a uh, Slovakian player was booted from the Slovakian World Junior Championship camp for giving one of his fellow teammates a concussion and potentially hitting another player and almost seriously injuring him as well. Chris, what are your thoughts on this news? Yeah, you you sent it me and I thought, <laughs> right, okay. And I, I read the headline and I thought, okay, so in a game something's happened or anything. And then you read it and you're like, Wait, he was doing this in practice. Yeah, like this is a this is a practice game. Like, why are you throwing hits like that around in a practice game against your own and teammates? Like, <laughs> yeah, that was the thing that really jumped out at me because originally, I, when I first read it, I said, like, "Oh, somebody kicked out." I thought, "Oh, okay, so there's been a bad hit or something in a game, and 
you know, this previous or whatever. And I look at it and I go, wait, he gave his own teammate a concussion? Yeah. Like, in, in, in a practice game where it's like, you know, whites versus blues or whatever, and they're just, you know, yeah, okay, you, you, you know, it's, it's a practice game, so you're going at it, but you don't do proper hits, do you? You just kind of stop before you get to them and kind of lightly pin them against the boards or something. You don't go in when you can see the numbers and smack their head against the board. And obviously there's so a big was... difference. There's a big difference between kind of laying a hit and then laying a concussion ridden hit, you know, like obviously you can make a hit during a uh, uh, practice game, but at the same time, like, like you mentioned, you either stop up a little bit, or if you see the numbers, you stop up completely. Cause you, like you, like you're probably going to go on to Chris, I'm sorry to jump in, but like, you don't want to injure your teammates. You're about to go to the world junior championships in two weeks, you know? <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, there's a difference between, you know, coming in and, and just kind of, lightly pressing them against the boards as you often see when you're battling for a puck you know yeah. the player just whips the puck around the boards and then half a second later someone comes in and it's a slight shoulder to shoulder and you both just you barely feel it under those paddings probably yeah um in comparison to i'm going to come full lick at you and give you a massive hit which means that there the suspicion is a concussion yeah I, I just don't i don't understand it at all um, and I, I mean, like I said the team come out and say that you know they're not going to tolerate the behaviour of the players. I don't understand why you would come out in a practice and do a hit like that. And you know, I, I feel like we're going over the same points again. But obviously, because there's no footage or anything, and as I say, there's a lot of hearsay, so yeah, which we're kind of glossing over. But and. As as like one of the hearsay says, you know, his actions on the ice tend to tend to get him into trouble. I mean, if I go on I go on his elite prospects and I'll see what um he gets in terms of penalty minutes while yeah. he's been playing. It's just I, I guess it's a situation like I wanna make it clear that I don't think this kid should be crucified for the rest of his career for doing this. Now obviously, obviously too often we see in on social media now and stuff like one person makes a mistake obviously the severity of the mistake is a big part in whether they are allowed the chance for forgiveness or can show remorse and kind of build their way back up i don't think the kid should be crucified for what he did but i completely agree and understand why slovakia have decided to take this step i think to be honest it's a very uh you know cut and dry case situation done case closed close the books job done you know because we're in a situation where I've just noticed that my um, a TV is trying to turn off as I'm talking. So can we not do that? Thank you very much. Problem solved. Um, but, you know, like, I, I think in this situation, I don't think this needs to necessarily be brought up in future situations. Or if, if he does make it to the NHL, for example, everyone's like, oh, remember, he's the guy that injured his own teammate and he kind of gets memed for it or trolled for it for the next few years. At the end of the day, Slovakia made the right decision. They thought, look, He's either intentionally injuring or risking injury to our players, his own teammates, who he's supposed to play with uh, in two weeks' time. We can't deal with that. We're already having to be careful with COVID and the virus and keeping our players fit and healthy in that regard. We don't need any on-ice um, problems causing any further issues for us. So look, you caused a problem. You're an idiot. You did something stupid. Okay, we're going to cut you loose learn from this mistake. And I think that's the best way to go about doing it because obviously by the sounds of it, he's shown remorse, whether that's because he lost his place at the at the, uh, at the uh, uh, tournament or whether it's because he genuinely feels remorse for what he did, I guess is another argument you can make. But I, I don't think this is something that should he should be crucified for for the rest of his career. Now, whether the concussion that the player gets ends up really damaging his career, now that's another thing as well. But I just want to say like, obviously it's a, terrible thing that he did especially to injure his own teammate and take him out of the tournament but I, I i'm i'm very much on the side of let's not crucify him for the rest of his career for this let's give him a chance to kind of learn from this and accept the punishment take his lumps and hopefully come back a a better player and a better teammate uh what are your thoughts on that chris yeah i mean i'm i'm looking like purely just at the numbers here okay. but it, it seems like he's very different in the um in a Slovakia jersey to anything else. Okay. So, if you look at the last couple of seasons. So, 2018-19, St. John Sea Dogs, uh, 40 penalty minutes in 60 games. No one okay. bats an eyelid at that. No. Um, and then you look at Slovakia under 18 in that season. 
in seven games in the World Championships, 31 penalty minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. And then in 14 games total international junior, 39 penalty minutes. And then again, back at the Sea Dogs last season, 25 penalty minutes, 36 games. Nobody bats an eyelid. No. Six penalty minutes in five games. No one really bats an eyelid there. And eight penalty minutes in 10 uh, for all under 20. No one really bats an eyelid there. So the, the, the stats say he's not a dirty player. Yeah. So I don't know what kind of was going on. You know, perhaps something is going on. You never you never know. Yeah. Um, with, with any of this stuff. But uh, yeah, hopefully it'll make him think twice before... Uh, doing similar kind of thing again yeah to be perfectly honest i think this is a prime example of a young kid that made a stupid mistake um it's kind of obviously he's he's young he's dumb and i I don't want to give the excuse of like um oh just because he's like 18 19 years old like obviously what he did was awful and most 18 19 year olds wouldn't intentionally go and give another player on their own team a concussion that's kind of evident with the fact that you don't see it happen very often at the same time he was stupid he made a dumb mistake uh, hopefully he takes the fact that he's he takes the punishment in stride and he's like, look, I squandered an opportunity here to represent my country at the World Junior Championships. It might be a situation once again that this might be the height of his hockey career and he squandered that opportunity over a stupid mistake. So hopefully he, he takes this opportunity to better himself or uh, kind of think twice about um, running at his teammates again or... You know, it's it's obviously, it's obviously difficult for us to say because we're not proficient hockey players uh, personally, but... I, I let's just hope he takes the lump here and kind of carries on with the rest of his career yeah, and I learns mean, something from it. As matures. We said, yeah, as we said, I mean, you never know. I mean, he, he could be like feeling added pressure and trying to show the coaches that he's ready for a spot in the starting lineup or something yeah. like that. You never know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't think that it's something that will, will haunt him for the rest of his career. Yeah, let's, let's hope not, uh, provided he shows that he's matured and grown from it. If he continues to, you know, play this kind of playing style, then, eh, you know, maybe not. But anyway, so that's the news of the Tampa Bay Lightning prospect that uh, has kind of made a bad name for himself at the Slovakian World Junior Camp. 